Notion can often be a powerful productivity tool. However, it doesn't come in a package that is easy to learn for most beginners. So what if there was a simpler solution out there? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luis. I'm a third year medical student from the Atenea School of Medicine and Public Health. And in this video, I'll be doing a review of the productivity app Taskade and how it can be used as an easier alternative to Notion. Before we start, however, do note that Taskade is sponsoring this video, but they gave me full creative control of this project to explore the pros and cons of their product. So I've divided this video into two portions, namely studying and general productivity, to go over how I use Taskade in these aspects of my life as a student. In the context of school, I find that Taskade is very useful for handling long-term projects such as final papers, final essays, or really big projects at the end of certain classes. With its easy-to-use interface, I can easily switch between different views such as list view, org chart, and mind map so I can view the information and organize my thoughts in such a way that I can see it from different perspectives and then come to consolidate it all in the final paper. So as you can see here, I have a sample of what the mind map looks like. So here we have the intro and I can uh, break it into the blocks uh, where I can show further points of like what I'm going to include in the intro, such as what the topic, what we're discussing, why it's important. Um, and then like here I can body where I can include my points for like point one, point two, point three to support uh, what, like why what I'm discussing about in the essay and then I can further break it down by adding more blocks down below so like supporting point I write the supporting point and then like I can add more so I can like further expound on my on my ideas and like in a um, in like in a bullet point sort of way b before coming to consolidate all together writing the final essay and with the easy view feature of Taskade I can easily switch from this view to a different one so I can get a different perspective so like say I switch it to list it retains the information but still keeps them so sorted under the same main points which is like really useful and it, and it just gives you an easier way to get a different perspective on your work and these features are especially helpful when you are working on group assignments so like say you have a group thesis or you're working on a group project together and you need to come together with your group mates to plan out what you're gonna do this is especially helpful because you can assign them to specific tasks so you can assign a certain group member to a certain task and you can assign yourself to a certain task so that there's accountability so you know who's doing what. And group works are made further easier by the fact that there is an integrated chat and video conferencing features within the app so that you can communicate easily with one another without having to use a third-party app in order to do so. Which can be very tiresome especially like if you're using social media where you can easily get distracted by your other chats with your friends. What Taskade however lacks compared to Notion is its overall utility as a note-taking app. As a medical student, I have the need to make really detailed notes so that I can retain the important information that is told to us in our lectures. For example, in my previous videos in Notion, I showed how I could uh, use the column feature or the toggle feature to make my own version of the Cornell note-taking system so that I could perform active recall. Taskade has a similar feature where you can toggle to reveal and unreveal um, certain portions of the text but it's not as easy to use compared to Notions in that when you click the icon in Notion it stays in place so you can just keep clicking in the same place to reveal and unreveal those uh, blocks of text but in Taskade it doesn't do that rather it moves the icon so that you have to move the cursor to click on it again to reveal so it's a bit more annoying and like adds a bit more friction to use lastly in terms of arranging my notes in such a way that I can understand it better Taskade lacks the ability to add tables and add um, images that aren't like your icon where it's symmetrical. So like if you would add a rectangular shaped picture, it would crop a portion of it so that it could fit on screen. And that's not really helpful if you're like screenshotting portions of your lecture and then adding it to your notes so that you can review the slide later. So that's something I wish they'd add in future versions of the app. So that it can be more than just a organizing tool for students, but also a note-taking app as well for their classes. As I alluded to earlier, Taskade is very useful for managing and tracking long-term projects. One feature that I really like about Taskade is its centralized calendar per workspace that compiles all the different due dates or different tasks and projects in a singular calendar that you can view at the homepage or that workspace. The reason I like this is that I can add a due date on a specific note, say like submit homework a week from now. And then I could write on another note that I have to submit the draft to my thesis advisor two weeks from now. So with those two different due dates, Taskade will take both of them and put them in a centralized calendar for the workspace that I can view at the homepage for that workspace. And I find that's very useful compared to Notion where if I were to do, have to do something like that, 
I would have to create multiple linked databases so that I could input it e easily without having to leave the specific node. In addition to that, I like that the centralized calendar has a agenda view and a roadmap view with the agenda view showing my deadlines for the week and the roadmap view show showing what my uh, deadlines are for the succeeding weeks and months after. And what that allows me to do is to see what I need to prioritize in the short term and see what I can put off because it's still a deadline that is still relatively far away. This central calendar feature coupled with the fact that you can set internal deadlines within uh, individual projects. So say that you have to uh, write a paper but you set an internal deadline that you have to finish the first draft a week before. So you can do that and also uh, assign specific members in charge of doing that. And that's extremely useful because when you're working in a team setting, you're ensuring um, that everyone on the team is on the same page because it's all in one place where you can see who's assigned to what, uh, by when does it need to be done, and you can see what other people need to get done by what date. So there's a sense of accountability and all of you is aware of what each other is supposed to do. And by having these features, I feel it allowed teams to be more likely to submit their deliverables by the intended due date. So in summary, Taskade is a productivity app that excels in managing projects that involve collaboration, multiple steps, or combination of both. It loses some of the flexibility and customizability that Notion offers, but it does this in exchange for a UI that, in my opinion, is much easier to use for beginners. I recommend Taskade to people who want to get into productivity apps like Notion, but want a simpler user interface so they can easily get into it and integrate it into their workflow. So if you're interested in trying out Taskade for yourselves, I recommend you go check out their website or download their mobile app. I've left links in the description to those, so feel free to go check them out down below. And once again, thank you Taskade for supporting this channel. So what's your favorite productivity app for your workflow? Leave it in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.